video is not for experts, not for pro pros, but uh, it's made for all people who want to just install uh, Windows onto their uh, Linux servers or DigitalOcean server. So let's get started. All you need to do is to step one to get a Linux server that is create a Linux server. Well, with this video, I'm going to use uh, Drop uh, DigitalOcean because uh, it's the provider I use right now and I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description of this video so that you get free $100 for free. So you need to create a, a droplet. Then select uh, the size of uh, RAM you want. Remember the size of RAM you select here, it will be exactly the size of RAM which you will be having on your Windows server. So take that as serious. Okay. So don't forget to uh, to to activate monitoring. If at all your provider has, yeah. If at all your provider has, then click create. Okay. Our server is being created. As it's being created, don't forget to click the description the subscription button. well we are done here so our next step is to update the packages of our server here you can use uh, use tamias gcssh if you're an android user and if you're an, uh, a pc user uh, you can take it directly to the console by clicking console or you can use it putty or any other uh, ssh client of your choice So I will you put the all commands in the description of this video. We are going to go step by step in this. So this is what you're gonna do, and this is something um, you don't need. To, you just need to go step by step. This is how things are. Okay. So you enter your password, you enter your username, password, and then your IP, and then you log into your server. Okay, what you need to do here is to enter the code, the, 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 the command that up, updates your server packages. Well, don't forget to click the subscription button as well. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, I'll be uploading more and more uh, for you guys just to so that we can share what we have so far. Okay. I think you're almost done here. Okay. Yeah. Well, it depends on the network or the speed of your network. Okay. The commands I'm using this video Okay, our next step is uh, to set our server to boot into ISO or ISO. So with drop with dictation, you go to recovery and then you set a boot from uh, recovery uh, ISO. And then you power off your, you power off your server. And then you have to power it on. Okay. So this is something you're going doing. You're taking it step by step, step by step, step by step. Okay, we access the console. So if you use just SSH user or Tamias or any SSH client you use, you can use. But for me, I'm using console because uh, uh, it helps me. Uh, you, uh, I can do it very fast for you here. Now, 
Now we are going to download our preferred Windows image that is IS holes. Now I'll put a link in the description of this video how you create your own IS or for server or for installation of in onto your server. As well, there are many uh, GZ. So this this file should be having an extension dot GZ. So dot GZ. So um, um, I'll create a video on how you can create this image first, so that you're able to create your own. The, the good thing about it that you'll you be able to get your own image which is not binded with the viruses mining scripts and so on because most of the images out there they are they contain mining scripts they contain uh, okay your server cannot run very well as it can with your as it can with a, a free uh, iso now all you need to do is to boot your server from drive And then you have to power it off again because what you are doing is the command you've set is that whenever uh, the next time it boots it should boot from this and then so like that and then you power it on now the next step is you need a VNC here or we are going to use the console direct Well, our indoor windows image has been loaded and it is working very, very well. Now, I created this image uh, for server installation and I customized it already. So it is having a, a password. Okay having a password so I'll enter my own the password I set it to be you can use this image and you install to as many servers as you want well we are in onto into our server and our next step is to our next step is to activate uh, the net so well all you need to do is to go to internet sharing uh, options and then you go to adapters that is network sharing options sorry well when you look at uh, this PC um there are two mouse cursors the reason being um the reason being we are having a, a custom uh, we are having a, a, a line uh, sorry <laughs> liners we are having a, a mouse from the remote computer you are controlling because these pieces are not sharing uh, as well we are having um the original mouse of ours so the mouse you should follow is that of uh, the browser now all you need to do is to go to the adapter ethernet 2 and then you select properties and you fill in uh, the credentials of your server or the ip address the net mask and so on and so forth and then you select no here you just save but according to the what the uh, server is asking us all you need to do is select no and we press enter you save
and you select save okay after saving there is a prompt which will appear and you see that data is running or uh, traffic is coming in and out of your server well you will ignore that all you need to do is to open your preferred rd client onto your phone if it is my if it is android there is rd client then on microsoft there is that uh, default um, remote desktop client which is there which i've opened you enter your the ip address of your droplet and then it asks for the name it is administrator or the username now the username is not root the username is the username of the windows image which you created mark that and then you enter your password which you set now the password is not that of um, root but it's a password for the windows image which you created if you happen to get a open image then it's fine then you select save you select you save the certificate or the keys boom we are done with creating our own remote desktop onto our linux server now we have turned a linux server into uh, a windows server well this is a very amazing because uh, you'll find that uh, windows servers are very expensive to get and with this you can use your low cost of a linux server and you turn it to you boot it to a windows server it's quite easy and it's quite very easy yeah we all i need to do is to cross this Cross each and everything here and then all I need to do is to install my preferred browser I'll install Opera Mini sorry Opera Browser <laughs> well these servers are quite faster and they are very good actually you should own one Well, we need to make some modifications here and there in our computer. So you open Internet Explorer and then you access some settings for internet because by default, um, initially this server is not, doesn't allow installation or download of files from external uh, externally. So all we need to do is uh, going to allow that option so all you need to do is to go to internet options and then you select uh, um, security then options then you have to look through the settings and look for where you see downloads you enable it and enable that and then you select okay 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 apply okay okay now you're free to go to any server which you want or any website which you want here well i'll go to or oh, i'll type in directly what i want i don't want this to be asked here again i'll just say cross don't ask this again that is uh okay i'll search for pair then i'll click download I like it I don't know why but uh, I like it because of uh, um, yeah, this browser its reaction or oh, the way it mode of uh, its mode of uh, uh, operation is uh, favors uh, favors uh, low-end computers like computers with low ends and low specs so this browser is kind of good uh, apart from the internet explorer ok 
escape room we are done with the installation of each and everything i hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we meet in another video i love you god bless